Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've been through six crazy tumultuous weeks of the footies promo. And yes, while the 85 times 10 and the 84 times 10 SBCs are back and footies is great again, footies is ending here pretty soon. And it's time to get ready for the promo that should be coming next preseason. If you don't know what preseason is, we're going to talk about it today and why it maybe is one of the more important promos of the entire year. And if you're going to be playing FIFA right now, it is a good promo to get involved with. So we're going to talk about all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Just a quick word of warning. This video is coming out really early and we're talking about this because I'm going to be going on a little bit of a holiday. I will be gone for about five to six days. You probably will see a video or, or now video or two, I guess I should say, in the next coming days but they won't be as consistent as the normal grind because it's going to take a little bit of time off before fc24 so now let's get into the content that we had well yesterday but also just a few hours ago ea re-released the 84 and the 85 times 10 with the requirements that we like one squad 87 rated for the 84 times 10 and one squad 88 rated for the 85 times 10 10 times repeatable uh Per day. Now, this timer is going to be offset, right? It repeats 20 hours from now. I don't think that's the way it's going to stay. I think EA would like it to refresh at content time. Um, I think they might mess with the timer a little bit, but just kind of keep an eye on that. 10 times a day now, and the grind is back, guys. And just like that, the grind is back, and there is hype left on this game because the way that it was before, it was feeling really dead, right? We have a 99 Rafael Leal that is out to craft with 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 5-star, five 5-star, five high low. The only thing he's missing missing is a position change that is not left wing or left mid striker or center forward or something along those lines would have been great as well but what a card man and right now i'll say it again guys right now it's time to get back crafting and get back grinding because with the content that we have right now i don't think it gets any better than this i really do not think that it gets any better than the 85 10 and the 84 10 grind with 200 special cards in packs man i can't tell you how good it is to see that team in the season walkout once again just kidding. Ooh, that's a good one. Delict from an 85 times 10. But guys, with all the special cards and packs, oh my gosh, man. 296s, Sadio Mane, and two... <laughs> It doesn't get any better than this, guys. It really doesn't, and this might be the best week of grind that we have until the game is over. Seriously, we'll talk a little bit about why I say that at the end of the video. But the craft is back on again, and FIFA and footies is great again, right? Now, also yesterday, we had the 87-plus player pick re-released. I mean, unlimited times, uh, not bad, right? Can't complain too much about that, GG's. And of course, everybody is happy about the 84 and the 85 times 10s. We also had a weekend league bonus objective um, under the milestones tab. If you're looking for that, it's the same as it is has been in previous weeks. So that is nice and easy to get done there as well for a few extra packs. Now, let's talk about why you should grind now and what preseason could bring this year. Yes, preseason, if you've never played FIFA this late into the game before, preseason is a relatively new promo and it's all about grinding the current game to get rewards in the current game and also in the next game of course we're getting very close to eafc 24 guys and that is kind of what this preseason promo does it does it bridges the gap between fever 23 and eafc 24 now it's been called preseason in previous years will ea rename it eh, they could potentially do that because of course fc 24 is an entirely new game with again fifa's name not a part of it there's been a lot of buildup, a lot of hype, but I still think, guys, that even though we are not having a FIFA 24, I still think a preseason promo can exist. I don't think that just because it's changing into not being FIFA anymore that we won't get preseason uh, because we're getting FIFA points confirmed transferring over to FC 24 as FC points. So in my mind, that means the preseason promo can happen the same way as well. So I just want to get that out there to kind of put that out there. I think this promo is 100% possible even with the game changing this year. Let's talk about preseason just a little bit. Over here, this is a website last year that EA put up about the preseason promo. And as, of course, it sounds like I just said, this is the way they say it. 
FIFA 23 Ultimate Team last year is just over a month away and a new moments redefined chemistry a new squad of heroes to help build your team you can kickstart your 23 season now in 22 that's what this is all about it is an SBC and objective based promo guys where they will lay out and put out objectives and SBCs for us to do so that we can get packs like as you can see here in my video last year you could get an 85 times 10 for completing the different SBCs and then you would get all the rewards uh, alongside of it in the next year's game right earn a warm up pack in foot 20 three containing two rare gold players and a gold contracts pack now it's not like we're going to be playing for this preseason promo to be getting like 50 and 100 000 coin packs guys the packs are not going to be that amazing but they're kind of worth doing this is the way that i said it last year and this is the way that i'll say it this year as well if you're going to play fifa in september basically when this promo is going to be dropping if you're going to be playing fifa during this time and especially if you're considering getting eafc 24 or if you've already pre-ordered it's a no-brainer because a lot of the time the objectives are not that difficult to do. You play a couple games, you score a few goals, or maybe you just do a cheap daily SBC and rack up the, the daily completions to get that pack objective in FIFA 23 and then also get a pack in FC 24. It's kind of worth it, guys. So that's the gist of it, right? Play now, get rewards now, and also get rewards later on. Now, that's not the whole entirety of the promo, right, guys? There's going to be other stuff to do in FIFA as well. There's still going to be a best of in packs. There has been in previous years of the preseason promo. Now, the only problem is, and the reason why I've been saying that this week is probably the best week to grind on this game is because the best of re-release that gets put out into packs this Friday for the preseason promo, whatever it's called, coming out, is probably not gonna be as good as the set of cards we have in packs right now. Last year, we had 200 cards in uh, footy's best of three, which is exactly what we have right now. 200 special items, a lot of tots, a lot of shapeshifters, the best of the best. And then what happened during the first week of preseason was they still had some team of the season and some shapeshifter cards in packs, but they only had 100 cards in packs. So your 84 times 10s, your 85 times 10s that are still going to be out and available as SBCs come this Friday. If you take a look at the timers, they're still going to be there. They just weren't as good, right? One of the reasons why packs are so juiced and insane right now is because there are so many special cards in packs. I'm opening 80 plus times threes and getting team of the season cards left, right, and center as I open these, right? It's probably not going to be this OP next week during preseason unless they keep a lot of cards in packs and they don't reduce the number of players that are in packs. That is the key. And that's why I say like for right now, I think this is the best time to grind. Seriously, the menus, if you're having fun doing the unlimited 84 8 times 10s and the 85 times 10s, I would say keep hammering it, right? Get your layout crafted, get your Holland, get your icons that you want to get done. Do that grind now um, so that you can get it done and not have to try to do it when it's a bit harder to do a little bit later on. That's why... I think this week is going to be one of the best weeks to grind still. So keep motivated in that. If there's cards that you want to do and stuff that you want to get done. Now, something, as you see last year, as we look in here um, from my video from last year as well, you see that it's all in the objectives tab, right? One thing that I think could make this preseason promo different this year is the season is also ending this Thursday, right? I know we're talking about this a bit ahead of time right now. This The season progress for footies is not ending until Thursday and today's Wednesday, but um, make sure you watch this space as well for preseason because they could very easily tie in FC 24 packs through the objectives inside of the season progress, which is probably, probably going to be the last season of the entire year. So that's a new area where they could drop packs for FC 24. Um, so definitely keep a watch out for that. Even on Thursday, when they refresh the season, that'll give us our first hint of maybe this promo coming out, or maybe it's a loading screen today on Wednesday. We haven't had loading screens in ages, guys, but that's because we've been in footies for like an entire month and a half. It's been crazy. Now, speaking of footies, one thing that could make this promo a bit better too is having footies cards back into packs which we have not seen yet it's only been new footies cards being released i really hope guys that they do put some of the footies cards back into packs and that could make it still a pretty fun grind and still a good time to open packs during preseason as well if they were to do that so i really hope that they do that because uh, i would love a chance as all of you would at packing the other 99s that have been taken out of packs before now and then one thing's that one thing that's kind of been a staple of content of the past as well is player SBCs 
during this uh, preseason promo. They do a lot of the transfers, right? Like last year, you maybe remember showdowns and transfer player SBCs. We had a 99 rated Holland. Uh, we had a Rudiger transfer card. We had a lot of different crazy transferred items. And we also had a lot of showdowns. There was a showdown Darwin Nunez, a showdown Christian Eriksen, um, like showdown Nani, I think. Uh, we were just looking at the FIFA 22 club yesterday, and I forget some of the players already, but there were some amazing showdown SBCs as the start of the leagues are coming and, and everything like that's going on. Um, you know, I would expect some sort of that type of content in this game as well in the next week or two. Guys, preseason is probably going to be like a two-week promo, maybe three weeks, because by the time it's two or three weeks gone, we are going to be playing FC 22. Four and it's going to be FC 24 time. So this is probably not going to be as long as footies or really it's not going to be as long as footies just because the calendar says that it can't be. Now, one last thing I'll talk about is if you're packing a lot of team of the season cards right now, maybe keep a couple of them, like the tradable ones that you get on your transfer list, guys, because last year during the preseason promo, fodder prices on the top tier actually went up. Your 93, 94 rated cards actually went up in price because so many people um we're still doing sbcs a lot of sbcs were still out like right now there's a lot of 99s that are out all the cover star icons those could continue to come as a part of the preseason promo as well we still have r9 hullet um thierry Henry that could get cover star icons so they're not out of the boat just yet those could continue coming too uh, but there's a lot of sbcs right now right and once all of these players that are in packs, if they reduce it down to 100 players instead of 200, that's going to mean that a lot of these cards that are fodder are going to be out of packs and they could start rising. Just keep an eye on like the 93 and above fodder and maybe some team of the season cards as well because they could be going up because once again, guys, um, we're still going to have 94 plus picks. We're still going to have 93 plus icon picks. It's still going to be a lot of the great SBC content that we've had. It's just going to be um, a different grind. And they won't look like footies, right? A lot of these SBCs are expiring in just a couple of days, which makes sense. Um, but it looks like there is a little bit of overlap still with some of the footies SBCs for the upgrades and the start of this next promo, uh, which we're going to call preseason for now, just because we expect it to be preseason. But it could be, again, as I said, something called a little bit different because we're recording this video a bit ahead of time. And of course, if they don't re-release footies cards back into packs, you'll probably see some of those go up in price as well so that's kind of just the state of the menus right now at least we have a good grind going on right now and we can get a lot of stuff done with the 84 and the 85 times 10 being re-released now one thing i want to point your attention to talking about fc24 we're going to get more ratings guys we just got 30 to 21 of the top 50 ratings yesterday i expect today we're going to get 11 to 20 and then we're going to get um 10 to 1 on Thursday. So watch out for the ratings. There's going to be a lot more posted on Twitter on foot scoreboards, Twitter. Once again, guys, these are the official ratings that we got yesterday. Kimmich got downgraded overall, but went up in pace. I was super confused by that. And EA is juicing the La Liga cards, guys. Griezmann got a massive boost. Vinny Jr. got a really massive boost as well. So that's something to notice there. Big time juice on those cards. Salah, slight downgrade. Bruno Fernandez, slight upgrade. Um, and then other than that, I'm super curious to see some of the 90, 91 rated cards that are going to be dropping in the next couple of days. But for me, this Griezmann card looks absolutely phenomenal as a center attacking mid in game. Like, look at those stats. I cannot wait to see for some of these cards what like play style pluses they have attached to them because that's going to make a big difference on them as well. Make sure you follow Foot Scoreboard on Twitter for some of these player rating leaks um, and all that information. We'll probably get some more, um, I guess you would say, official information from EA on player ratings here pretty soon as well. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. Watch out for a loading screen today. Enjoy the footies grind for the rest of this week. And hopefully we have a nice preseason promo upcoming ahead of us that we can get ready for FC24 by grinding a little bit of the game and getting some packs to stack ahead of time. We'll cover that all when we get back. But thank you guys for all the support this year. And thank you for allowing me to take a little bit of time off. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good to reset. But if you did enjoy this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in a video soon. It's been Nate Foot Account. And catch you guys later. Peace.